My phone, would I be able to see too? Yeah, no. Okay. Let me go pull up your link. Oh, there I am. <laughs> All right, we're live here back with um, um, a learning coach, the owner of Star Student Coaching LLC, and a, I can see, a Dower Eagles fan. <laughs> um, so, I guess we would have Miss Sherelle Jackson, yeah. right, Jackson? Yes. Y'all can Sher- Jackson now. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Levon act like you don't know me because no, I, I was a Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> so right. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, they, Lewis you, girl. You did yesterday. I was like, I didn't know. I, 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 didn't know what to I was so. I was like. I felt so bad. I was like. Oh no! I, 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 oh my god! I'm like it's me. Yeah, I, I, I'm so confused. Yeah. So, that so first good. of all, how, how are you doing today? How are you I'm doing? Good. I'm happy to be here, Levon. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah. So been all we do, we we do the work together back in a couple years ago. Then you got married. Then you were here mm-hmm. now. You started start star student coaching. Yeah. Uh, we'll get we'll get into that um, yes. more about why you started it and what the, the end goal is for that for yes. those young young people. And I did have promoted it. Um, basically, um, Thank you, you know someone named Not Keith. Me no. Oh, okay, first of all, okay, Not Keith. How you doing, Not Keith? Hey, I don't yeah. know. Maybe I, I know a lot of people. I'm, yeah. <laughs> grew up, I'm born and raised Philly yeah. girl. Right. So, don't get it. Right. Exactly. That's, um, let's get. <laughs> So let's get right into it. Who was Sherelle, Sherelle when you was younger? Okay. So, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> so, bro in Wyoming, that's where my church was. That's where you could find me on a Tuesday, a Wednesday night, a Friday night, a Sunday, a Sunday night. <laughs> um, so I'm a church girl through and through. Um... My pastor, my mom, uh, my dad. I have about a hundred cousins out that coming out that church. The church really inspired me. Mm-hmm. The church mm-hmm. we were we were um, made to do testimony service. We did the recitals at Easter. We did a lot of the traditional stuff, but I feel like it always was uh, promoting excellence. And the church is the way is across church of Philadelphia. It still stands on the corner of Broad and Wyoming, right at this uh, train stop. And I did want to mention that because that's what I think about when I think about my youth. I think about that whole area, North Philly, Logan. I think about Germantown, where my mom's from. I think about Sheltonham, where I raised my boys for the most part before we started moving around. Um... But a lot of greatness came out of that church. Mm-hmm. And I look at pastors, I look at um, women, the men, and it's just so inspiring. So I just want to be part of the crew. Like, I think it's just in me. It's in my DNA. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll I'm, 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 I'm make sure this is right. Is the way that Rob well, Holly way that Dunga Dale Donuts is? Yep. My pastor, um, Yeah. You still go there now, or I live in Virginia now. I know, I know but but yeah, that's still my family church. I should go there. I'm like, what's the pastor's name? Oh my god, um, uh, Bishop Williams. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> um, so His I, father was my pastor, yes. and, he, and he was. And then my father was became a pastor when we moved to Pittsburgh when I was in high school. Okay. Um. And so my father has a, his church, um, Assembly of Love. It's 219 West Tabor Road. Um, and they do a lot of programming, Levon. I, you know, I always try to hook you up with my mom any opportunity I can. I'm like, my mom can do it. She's in Philly. <laughs> um, and uh, my dad passed a couple years ago, but the church still stands. My uncle's took the charge. They are the pastors of the church and it's called Assembly of Love. And it's a lot of good programs and mm-hmm. resources, community um, programs and food. A lot of good things coming Ooh, out of wonderful. there. So I did want to, yes. I said way to cross, but I can't leave out Assembly right. of Love. I, 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 yes. My church is the fellowship of them okay. for, for the pandemic. And yes. I remember we, we were there, I think, 2020 or 2019 okay. before the pandemic. Okay. So so Pastor that good they should bug bring Pastor Williams there. So we should be there. I go around me, I will go there the train right there, I'll be right there. Right. right. So, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> let's fast forward to mm-hmm. um what you are doing now. So um so now you're a learning coach. 
Um, can you tell us what, what is a learn? I heard about life coaches. Right. Um, so what is a learning coach? We're all about academics. Any way that I can support academic success. Mm -hmm. So, and when I say any way, I mean any way I can support academic success. Um, I want to be the link to resources. What we're working on right now and what we've got going um, is programming. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a homework club every Monday through Thursday from 5 to 7 p.m. Mm. It's $15 per household per week. Gotcha, okay. But for the month of February, it's free. Mm. All you have to do is go onto the website during homework club during 5 to 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday and pop in. Um, our max number of students was about eight or nine students at one time. Sometimes it's me there by myself, but you can still pop in and say hello and get some homework done. But um, during homework club on Tuesdays is our life skills class mm. that we just started. Okay. And that's the program. And I'm so excited about it. I have a master's um, of science and psychology. And so I love to like pass on things like group think to the children. I like to prime their minds with things like um, cognitive dissonance. Mm -hmm. You know, things that I've learned in college level and master's degree level that I'm like, the middle schoolers can get this. And if they heard about it, maybe they wouldn't fall into some of it. Right. Or um, be easily swayed. Because, I mean, our children are, they got good uh, brains. They have most of them, um, if given the right tools, can make some really good, smart decisions. Right. And so that's what I want to do. I want to give them the tools. Right. I want to help the parents. And yes. my number one thing is success begins in the home. That's right. And so I do not hesitate to go into people's homes. And after COVID, we saw we can do it through Zoom. And we're 100% virtual programming. Right. Um, and it's so convenient. And we were a military family, so moving place to place. Um, we even moved two or three places within the same state. Um, so you just move. Mm. People, for whatever circumstances, could mm. move. Right. But um, virtual programming, you don't have to switch us. You don't have to stop and find another program like us. We'll, we'll, we'll still be there. We'll be that consistent thing um, if you want to have your child join mm. us. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. I definitely <laughs> I definitely would like Patrick Williams to do some work life school workshops. Um, you know, because I think that'll be uh, that will bring this together and then also I'll bring you on because we are trying to start a parent um series yes. for our kid well, I work with Western students for February graders who are trained from middle school. Okay. We want to be a vehicle for my parents for the, those kids. Yes. I would love for you to partner with us and help the tra help those parents transition with their kid as well. Because awesome. not, it's not the kid transition, mm -hmm. the parents transition at middle school. Right along with them. Because mm -hmm. the kids are going to experience puberty, go on phase, talk about who they are, and parents are like, oh, I'm doing this. I don't, I don't still relate to my child right. and still be the parent and still don't be their friend. You know right. so, so I definitely, we'll talk outside right. of that because right. I see a partnership with this because it's so important that we, we help us one to another. A lot right. of times we try to do it by ourselves, but we can't. Right. So we right. have to be no, right. help us one to another. We're done with the white help. You're you know, right. I mean? you know, sometimes we get help, but it it may be wrong place, wrong time. It may mm -hmm. not fit. You know what I mean? But now you see things for different lens and see the outcomes of what could it be. Right. Okay, now's the right time to do it. You right. know, so I made it. My 10th year pedigree, I'm trying to do more for the parents. We, no, you're absolutely yeah. right. Because we're so focused on the youth, mm -hmm. we forgot the parents. You know what I mean? Not in sense, not in purpose, but <laughs> we're trying to get the youth first. But I mean, know the youth, the parents were not getting what we were talking about and how they try to change it. Mm -hmm. So we, now we want to help the parents in this journey as well. Right. So I I'm think, here. Yeah, so, I'm the biggest resource. Yeah. I'm the resource queen. Right. I am a supportive services coordinator at heart. Right. So anything, you can say something to me today, by tomorrow I have a proposal okay. sitting in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, so um, and then what you said, I did pick up um, something that you had put down. Um, you said the parents need help. 
Star Student Coaching is help for the parents. My mom come, came up with this during the pandemic, actually. So I'm stealing her intellectual property. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Carolyn Lewis, Masters of um, Education, Masters in Education. She was a teacher at Roberta Clemente Middle School for years. People in the community know her. She was filling up her um, station wagon back in the day, driving the kids to church on mm-hmm. Broad in Wyoming. Mm-hmm. Um, so we had, we are North Philly for real. But um, my mom was my help. I had two teenagers. I had a middle schooler and a high schooler. Mm-hmm. During the pandemic, my mom was their learning coach. She had them calling her learning coach. So you ask where it came from, my mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and she had them, at one point, my oldest son, in, in order to earn his video game time, which she did tell me, go put it in the trunk, parents, if you need it. <laughs> Put, take it all the way out the house. There's no fight, no scrap. You go to work, put that thing in the trunk. It goes to work with you. Mm. Let them get done their stuff and earn it. And earn it. Don't take it away. Don't punish, punish without some incentivizing. Right. Um, as expected, incentives are a motivator. Let that gain. Let the things they already have. You get, They get to go to the mall. They get to, you know, run the streets or have a cell phone or let them earn it. How do you earn it? Not with A's or B's if they're not A or B students. Mm-hmm. They earn it with effort. Right, effort. So right. did you log in the homework club? Effort. Did you um, read those chapters that you were supposed to read and answer those four questions? Effort. Then you give them their stuff. Right. You let them go. You know, my son, it, it almost was like magic. And it was so sh- much stress off me. I can't tell you. Mm. Um, even me sometimes trying to put some things in place is different coming from a mother child or a parent child than some outsider who's here to only purpose is here to support mm-hmm. both mother and ch- or p- parent and child. I want to be the support role. I have mine. I have my mother-in-law, <laughs> mm. my husband. I can't. Say my mother-in-law first and not say my husband. But my husband, my mother-in-law, my mom, I've been talking about her. Um, my sisters, my older sister, Marie. My little sister has six kids and she homeschooled them. Mm. So she's one of my biggest resources because she's super smart and, you know, just full of resources. I have a whole village behind me. Right. And I felt like it was time and of course, I'm motivated because my Eagles are in the Super Bowl, are about to win the Super Bowl. I'm like, it's go time. It's go time. And, 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 you, know, to, you know, today is the um, 50th anniversary of that win the Super Bowl. Oh, so that, today, okay. is, today, the fire anniversary. Is, uh, okay. Yeah, well, happy uh, years. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Alicia Fang will join. Alicia Fang will join us. Oh, hey, early. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, also, you said also there were there were five practical easy concepts for, yes. to consider. Positive psychology, can you share that with us? Yes, and I do have my flashcard. <laughs> <laughs> so my one of my flashcards is the well-being theory. Um, and this is kind of the meat and potatoes of our programming. Okay, and LaVon, I want to do it with you if you don't mind. Okay. So I'm going to just make a statement and then I'm going to ask you a question. Five statements and I'll, ask, and I'll throw it to you and ask you okay. a question. So... I don't know if people can see this, and I definitely should have um, brought my colored one. <laughs> but what were you saying? Go, 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 go. Okay. But it's PERMA, P E R M A. And the first letter is P. So we do a lot with P. We all know this uh, song, secular song, pushing P. So I said producing P. So. <laughs> We're going to produce positive emotions. Mm. Okay? So, I'm going to start with my favorite, and then I'm going to throw it to you, and you can tell me some of your favorite positive emotions. Mm. Okay? So, mine, church girl, of course, fruits of the spirit are some of my favorite emotions to strive for. So, I'm going to start with, like, love, joy, peace, kindness, long-suffering, or self-control. Self-control is a great emotion because Levon, doesn't it feel good? And we're Philadelphians, so we talk straight and then um, we expect like a straightness back. 
But doesn't it feel good when you get something back that yes. you don't like and you control it here? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you can walk away and knowing like you didn't. Because I had some situations where I didn't self-control. Mm -hmm. And that did not feel good afterwards. That's right. It didn't feel good afterwards. So if we're talking positive emotions, I'm going to throw in self-control for me. Mm. And one of the top tier positive emotions for me is gratitude. Mm. When I'm telling you I'm a human being, you can have all the psychology classes in the world and know a lot of like self-help things. But sometimes things you get sad, you get dark, you get, you know, whatever. I can go to my pictures. I have so many thousands of pictures I can go to in my phone of just how blessed I am. I'm so great. Like, it, it's almost an instant pick-me-up. I start thinking, I got a one-and-a-half and a two-year, a two-and-a-half-year-old two two at home. Instant pick-me-ups. Um, I can think about, you know, where I was, where I am now. Mm -hmm. With my husband, he's just a good guy. Like, a good guy. Like almost um unheard of, and uh, <clears throat> he reminds me of my dad in a lot of ways, and um instantly picked me up. Right. So gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. So I like to leave people with that. Now, Levine, what are some of your top tier positive emotions? La laughter, joy. Um, I think laughter is so underrated that we don't take time to laugh for ourselves or laugh for something. Mm -hmm. And I remember the great Jim Ronald's speech, famous says we got to make least laugh once a day. Um, and because laughter is good for the soul. Joy, inner peace, um, happiness. Mm -hmm. um, being content, being grateful, being mm -hmm. thankful, being, um, and count your, count your blessings yes. because you never know what people are going through. Yes. And we're so focused on the negative stuff, we don't even think about how blessed we are, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, those are my top tier. Yeah. All right. So, you have tackled the first step in well-being, mm. in the well-being theory. If we can get our minds, train your brain, train your brain, pig, Produ how to produce pig. Mm -hmm. So, you like laughing, how would you produce that? What would you do? What's your go-to? Uh, um, I would watch a favorite show. Um or maybe go to a comedy show. Yes. Like, um, I I started going to comedy shows last last December because I I never did that before. Oh. I um never suffered to get me some outside my element. So I went to the show. I went to see Jeff Jay Farrell, and um, two of my um, college friends uh, went with me. So that's the kind of guy I out. So I went. I went play, and because my wife was doing she was doing a dinner with girlfriends, I was like. Oh, so it was the same the same building, same mm -hmm. night. I was like, I'm not staying in the house. I'm gonna do something different outside of hell. So I uh, brought two of my friends with me. One of the cops when I was seeing about a long time, we reconnected. So it's definitely, um, um, definitely a blessing that I went to see. Sorry, like, what lady's name? Um, I forgot her name. Yeah, woman. Um, we were seeing that hill in the club a couple weeks ago. I totally forgot. Okay, I, good. We did a double date with another couple. So, good. And so. I'm trying to get out of my lane and um, just experience laughing because a lot of times we're so hard on ourselves, we're so angry, not angry, but so serious. Purpose. We, we, yeah, it's Purpose. Purpose. Or mission we're oriented. Yeah. We're, we're like trying to laugh and have a good time. You know, that's a good thing. So, mm -hmm. um, Beverly, thank you for joining us. Candace, <laughs> MJ, I'm Trey, Trey <laughs> thank you for joining us. We'll give Miss Jackson a shout out, please. Do that. <laughs> you have a question. So, so what, so what is All E? Right. We're going on the E. e. E is engagement. You see how engaged <laughs> LaVon is? Ready for the next letter? <laughs> e is engagement. So engagement is all about finding your flow. So let me tell you about, it's not, um, it's not marketing. It's not buzzwords. It's really a thing. Find your flow. So um, what is questions? What's something that you can do and get lost doing for hours? It may be fun. Yet challenging, it presents still presents some sort of challenge, um, but you literally can just get lost and you and you look up like, oh man, is that late? What what's that thing for you, or things? Um, probably work. I bring work. I bring work home. So that's why sometimes I get too engaged, and um, sometimes 
I miss out. I miss out time with my wife. I miss out time with that. Okay. And then sometimes my brain is weird. Sometimes <laughs> my brain does generate ideas like during the day, but at the midnight it does. <laughs> <laughs> so before I go up there, I, 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 I start writing things down. Then it's like uh-huh. and then during the good. day, it's like yeah. I can't even figure out a thought. I'm like. I'm struggling and then somewhere at the midnight I generate ideas. Like you found your flow. Yeah, if my flow is like That's your flow. At the midnight I'll just get ideas like okay, I write it down or, or put it on the computer, you know. So most of my pedigree and stuff came at the midnight. Mm-hmm. You know, I would watch certain shows and I would I would get ideas. Oh, okay, right. that's drug business, you know. So So two things I hear. You can either lean in and create a schedule around it. Mm-hmm. When are you going to sleep because your body still needs that. Right. Sleep, you know, take a nap. Right. I'm sleeping. Sleep. Everything's dark. Dark shades, you yeah. know. You know, go to sleep this time because you still need your sleep. So That's just right. lean in and create a, a routine around when your brain is most active. Because right. mine actually is night too. After the two babies, yeah. that's my time. If they're asleep, I'm like, I could think clear. Right. I could just go. And, no interruptions. And it's crazy yeah. for you. I bet. I, so I wrote down ideas from my, my board. I've had a great day. Team, I felt good. That went to bed. I slept good this morning. It wasn't, See? I didn't get up. Uh, no, I, I slept good. I was like, okay, let me do That's some money. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. Now, somebody, let me give an um, example. Um, I used to braid hair. And people would say, oh, don't your back or your fingers or this and that. No, when you braid hair, especially like back in the day, mini braids, mm. micro braids. Um, a lot of people had complaints. That was my flow. It was a little challenge, but it was me. It was like relaxing. And right. then I'm a talker, so I'm having conversation and or we watching something and I'm going. It was like that was my flow. Mm-hmm. And it's, so it's different things for different folks. It doesn't always have to be work. You know the movie Soul? Mm-hmm. What's what's the uh, main character's flow? The piano. He was getting lost. Remember, he was floating away on that thing in his imagination. It's different things for different folks. Oh, right. We're all different. Find yours. Right. Find your flow. So that's engagement. Want to move on? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Isn't it good? Yes. <laughs> so the third one is relationships. Um, Big one. Mm-hmm. I love Philly for this one, though. I don't vibe with people anywhere else like I do with my Philly people. I don't know what it is. But, um, no, that's not true. I love people everywhere I go. But um, relationships, the golden rule. This is the big one for relationships. Mm. Treat others the same way you would want to be treated. Now, isn't that good for middle schooler, high right. schooler, right. college schooler, right. adulter? <laughs> like, that's everybody everywhere all the time. When they get to a certain, I'm not expecting my one and two year old, but once they get to a certain age, we, we have to drive home risk the golden rule. Treat people, treat people the way you would want mm-hmm. to be treated. Um... And then I want to talk about win-win relationships slash healthy relationships. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to always be striving for. If something does go off because we're human, um, I was just talking to my little sister um, who is not a fan of cancel culture. (laughs) Um, And I kind of am, but not all the time. But um, nurture those relationships. If it's worth it, you cannot be in an abusive relationship. And abuse shows up in a lot of different forms. Mm -hmm. Verbally, mentally, financially, um, and then we'll say physically. But I grew up (laughs) with a mom says, if he put his hands on him, you shoot him. No, (laughs) I missed that lesson. Um, Some of my life stories will tell you I might have missed that lesson, but I got it eventually. Absolutely not. It's a it's a um it's a deal breaker. Mm-hmm. It's a red flag. Um and dating advice, it's a next and there's so many of them out there, it'll be another one waiting to fill their slot. No. <laughs> um, male or female. But um the golden rule, treat people the same way you would want people to treat you. Tell me about your top three. 
win-win relationships. Just so positive. Wow, this is that is free. Win-win. Oh, man. Uh oh. Mm. To be transparent for those watching, um, I ain't gonna have a hard time thinking of one. I, I mean, I had my wife. Okay, that's um, one. Because that's number one. <laughs> but I struggle with, um, I, I wanted to win, but I am struggle with asking what I need. I, okay. I, I, I'm struggling, I'm trying to cater to the need, I'm trying to be there for her, but sometimes she says I'm not there for her. Gotcha. I'm trying to be better there for her and just gotcha. be best supportive. So Look, we all have work to do. Yeah, yeah, so I'm not the best of win win, but I, I I don't want to lose, but I want right. to win. But I know I haven't shown her how to demonstrate that. You do you I mean? do you support her? Yeah, I do. And love her yes. through yes. all the ups and downs. Yes, that sounds like a win. The Chiefs love you yes. and support you yes. through all the ups and downs. Yes. That's a win-win. Okay. And you don't even need two more. That's a win-win. Okay. Right. Look for those things. Right. And nobody's perfect. We're right. all human. Right. <laughs> and it's going to be some hard times. But if the person is worth it and right. they contribute positively to mm. your life, right. they might be worth not canceling. Right. If mm. they, you know, kind of, they're on something you're not on right now. Right. Maybe right. we just distance. Yeah. Till you can't come back. Maybe you distance and never come back. Mm -hmm. But be thinking selfishly when it comes to relationships. Yes. But also think grace. Grace. Because mm -hmm. doesn't God give us grace? Yes, he does. And yes, God does. is not even a win-win. Because mm -hmm. how could we, what are we doing? Right now? <laughs> like, we'll praise you and you love it. We'll praise you. But it's it's I don't consider God. I consider God my biggest and best relationship, and it's full of grace, grace. and mm -hmm. mercy. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for um, And Mimi, we're going to move on. Mm -hmm. I know you can talk for hours about this, but I'm going to just read the description, and I'm going to let you go. Mimi, your purpose slash contribution to the world. Identify your character strengths. And don't forget the last part because we're not fluffy, happy, no, you know, we don't live in a fantasy. Improve and work on your weaknesses. Mm. So, first question. How are you contributing to your community, to the people in your environment around you? Well, what I, is go, your I don't fall days with this. I'm, right. <laughs> what I'm is your like, purpose? What time said, what time said, I'm going to... Um, Get this the, the shortness. <laughs> right. Give um, me the short version. Give me the I'm a timey. Give me the three minute or I, less version. I, I, I've, had, <laughs> I've had the greatness. I've been doing it 10 years. I um, go to schools and workshops for young people on issues that affect the academics. We try to encourage, empower, educate, inspire, and motivate and cultivate a, a greater you while they're young. Um, I Office Cafe, I've done that six years with over 200 offers participating, getting a platform, a platform for them to share their books, to share their, share their books and meet other people that they will not meet every single day. Mm -hmm. um, um, I do man talk for men, yes. for men to come together and talk about what issues they're doing as men. I uh, started last year. Um, because out of room because of the event that me and my wife did last year, mm -hmm. um, and the problem of this of men coming together and sharing um, things amongst other men that they were dealing with is so powerful because women had, women can talk to someone on the it. street. I talk you all up and down right. in the room. Right. Right. Men, <laughs> men, we kind of hide, we kind of suffer inside, hide our pain, and then we create a virtual platform mm -hmm. um, will help the men. Um, be healed and going to have it better. So my goal for that, we all try, we all try, I am trying to do a misery this year okay. that, um, for the spring, for bring young men, so older men to speak to the young men. So I, I, I see this problem exercise that I want to do with that. So, and my last one is um, hey, with the Howards, me and wife started it. We took a break from it. Okay. Just to bring couples together um, that are married, mm -hmm. planning to get married, just to have fun, to enjoy life. Had those conversations that okay. need to be had. Also, 
address things like mental health. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we think about finances and think about infidelity, all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, mental health affects everything you yeah. do. It affects your finances, it affects your um, sexual desires, it affects your mindset. Mm -hmm. So if we don't address the mental health aspect of it, I mean, like, other marriage, it's not, other things are going, other things are going to suffer from that. Yeah. That's why it's so important. I encourage couples to go to therapy before marriage and during marriage because it will save you a lot of heartache and a lot of stress mm -hmm. going down the road. Because even though sometimes we don't, we don't apply what you the got therapist. Twenty seconds. Left. Yeah, okay. We don't <laughs> we don't apply what we apply to what we teach us. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> we. If somehow down the road, in fact, we apply it, we're like, okay, I know now, I understand. So, right. yeah, so for the second time, we'll start right there. Um, but um, let's go so to let's the... let's hang with the Howards. Yes. I love that. I absolutely We are trying to do more, some more this year. So, um, we are trying to do some clubhouse stuff. Um, Please but, invite us. Yes. We'll come down the road. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Then we, like, we, want, we want to do a form about mental, how mental health plays in the marriage. Okay. Because I think that is so pivotal. Yes. We come with lots of baggage and trauma. And we're supposed to now, assume husband and wife can, will take that. Or, okay, that, oh, that's okay. We said mm. that. But if you don't get the help that you need to better yourself, you want a better relationship. And it will be better for your wife and husband. That's why I want to address that. Because I, I, the last things I dealt with, that was not dealt with. Right. That brought right, to my right, marriage right. And, and, helped, and it caused me to think about going to therapy. Same. Yeah, so. I'm going to have my hand raised yeah. high for that one. For sure. Yes. For sure. But, um, but God is good. Yeah. We still God's have breath. all the time. God's good all the time. We have breath so we can get it right. That's right. We got, a, we got more chance. <laughs> more <laughs> opportunity. Okay, next, um, character strengths. Top three. What would you say are your strengths? I'm resilient, I'm an overcomer, and I'm a hard worker. Hey, I love those three. If I had to answer, it would be something similar. It would be something similar. It would be resilient, hard worker, mm. a lover. I'm a lover. Mm. I'm a lover. That's why I'm, I'm a need something, need yeah. support person, coach. Come to me. Mm -hmm. Come to me. Um, improve weakness. How can you improve on a weakness? One weakness. Don't mention the weakness per se, but how can you improve on the weakness? What steps can you take? Just giving, giving up over to God and having to deal with it because I can't say I'm going to share it. You don't have to if it's personal. Well, I, 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 I don't want to share it. I saw, yeah, I saw with trust the people. Okay. I saw, um, okay. I saw delegating. Okay. So that's one of the things I'm going to do is um, people say that I have a village and sometimes I say I don't because uh, what people have done to that's me. That's insulting. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 right I mean, here. Well, you know, but now but I'm, I hear you. I'm trying to overcome that negative thought and by embracing that in village and um, because I saw a lot of hurt in my life, um, and it still carries with me, but I'm trying to let that go and say, look, this person is not this person. Right. That was years ago. Right. So I'm trying to fit, reprogram my brain and say, look, look, this is different now. You know, this is not 1999. You know what I mean? So you have a village and you have people who care about you, but I think I expected too much. Okay. I spent a lot, and I just wanted to be little things. Let's check in with me. Hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not... I just want to... Gotcha. Overcome that. Gotcha. Know? Gotcha. Um, people may not show up how you want them to show up. Mm -hmm. And I did learn this. Because I kind of have a similar... I can relate to you a lot. Um, people might not show up how you want them to. But I realized I kept looking and people kept showing up. People... Mm -hmm. People show up. Mm -hmm. So those are your people. Right. Those are your people. Right. Um, and so that's how you would improve on your weakness. You mentioned delegating. How would you improve on delegating? Well, what, what, what roles that 
I would do, like roles that jobs I would do that I know now I can't do them all in one day or in two <laughs> weeks. And just get the people that are strong in those areas and can do it. Exactly. You know what I mean? I'll got to do it for you by myself. All right. And so when are you going to start doing that? Well, I had a meeting on Tuesday. Actually. Okay, let's so last, go. <laughs> so last night, I actually wrote down the roles. I actually took time to write down the roles I want okay. to see improve. I'm going to roll them out and see if anybody can is strong in this area. I'll give them that, and then i just check in with them see how it's going. Yeah. yeah. All right, LeVon, you on the right track. He said Tuesday, <laughs> not March, right. not April, <laughs> Tuesday. And guess what? I loved the jobs that utilized like my biggest strength. Mm -hmm. So that was key. You said you're gonna ask, what is your what are what can you do? You see anything on this that mm -hmm. needs done that you you they could probably knock it out with Working. something that's not your strength. It'll right. take you hours. Right. Somebody that's their strength, oh I can do this. Give me five minutes. Yeah. You right. know? Right. <laughs> right. 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 And it's done. Right. But I'm there. I feel like, okay, so we um talked about your purpose. This is M meaning. Um, we talked about, we identified some character strengths, and we're going to leave you on the note, delegation. We're going to prove on your weakness. Mm -hmm. You already had the plan. Accomplishment is the last one. Okay. It's a loaded A. Mm -hmm. It's a loaded A. But what grades we all want to strive to get? We don't want to work really hard for the, you know, we work hard for C's if we're at a D. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but we want to strive. So, achievement, accomplishment is A. I'm going to read it first. Discipline. Discipline is the cornerstone of accomplishment. If you think back in your brain, anything you've accomplished, it took some type of discipline in some form. And you got that. You got that reward. Um, effort, or you got to the finish line. Effort. Routine. Organization. Resilience, you spoke about that was one of your character strengths. Grit, produce quality, rewards, celebrate, celebrate your successes, and succeed more. Mm -hmm. So all of these words under accomplishment all have a pot. It's a solid. Mix it together, it tastes really good. But if you take out effort, you still have resilience, organization. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you're still organized. You could probably still get to your uh, accomplishment. If you take out, um, let's say you might not have grit. Something might come your way and it really knocks you. And, and, and somebody else beside you might have the grit, though. And so you can keep going to your um, destination. Um, discipline, I always like to say, is the cornerstone of accomplishment and achievement because <clears throat> if you tell yourself, do it, and, and it doesn't get done, you have no discipline. If you tell yourself, like, I'm going nah, to do it, and it, I, I'm going to eat right, I'm going to eat right, um, and you don't do it, it's because it might be lacking in discipline. But it's okay. It might be a weakness. And a good thing, as long as you have breath in your body, you have a chance, right? You can improve on your weaknesses. And we're going back to M. But accomplishment, all these things underneath accomplishment, star student coaching can help you with. And then I'll go to the expectancy theory because rewards is under that list. And so under the A, there is rewards. And as expected, I like to say, more effort, Leads to quality, produce quality, leads to quality performance or quality production, which leads to what? Rewards. Your reward. So, A is, is not the hardest thing in the world. Anything you're trying to accomplish. Let's say lose weight. More effort. You start seeing some results. And then you get to your ideal weight or under a certain landmark. <laughs> Mine's 200. I'm transparent. I don't care. Um, <laughs> if I could get under there, I'll feel the intrinsic reward. Some rewards aren't tangible. 
Levon, I know this for you because I experience it sometimes and you work with way more children than I can ever <laughs> have touched in my time. Um, um, what does it feel like inside when a child has like a light bulb moment for you? Like they didn't know, they were in the dark, they couldn't get this and then they were like, yeah. It, it gives you joy inside and makes you feel like Okay, God put me here for a reason, mm. and now it makes you want to do more. Mm. And makes you want to come back and say, Hey, I, I had this like my moment, and this now, now I don't want to give up, I don't mm. want to give in, I don't want to quit. Yes. You know, so that I keep going because now this child was impacted differently. Yes, if I was, it will be different, will they probably be the same way if I did not share or did right. not come in? So, right. So as you live in your purpose, now you're impacting people, mm -hmm. and now you're feeling positive emotions. We'll go back to P. You're feeling all the positive emotions inside, the intrinsic, and I'm going to go here. It's the reward. Mm -hmm. That's the reward. That feels so good. That feels so good. I understand how teachers can show up every day. I understand it, and I also appreciate how hard it is for them to show up every day. But my mom used to say, old school teacher, I teach for free. If the bills were free, if the mortgage was free, if the car note was free, you know, if it, was, it didn't exist, I teach for free. I think you're one of those type of people too. The reward is in the accomplishment, the progress, the, the impact that you're, that you're making. Um, what if you display like most improved students bored? That's, that is making the student feel so good to see. And that's you. That's a reflection, direct reflection on you. I think every classroom should have one. I think it should be posted and displayed. And let me get back to A, because that's the last part of um, A. Celebrate your successes. All the good stuff. Not the, um, I mean, I... I love football. I do. I love it when the sports teams win. I love it. And sports was a big motivator for me for my oldest son. Basketball team. And we didn't do C's because he could do A's. So we didn't do C's. I had a younger son. A C was okay. But he saw his older brother and he stroke, stri used to strive for A's. You know, he still does. Um, but you, you got to know where your children are at and be realistic and <clears throat> they'll get there. They'll handle the rest of it. But what I would like to leave with is celebrate your successes. Every classroom should have a most improved, a top, a top, um, grades and things. And, don't, and it doesn't have to be, you can literally go search a category Best helper is a reward. I think for middle schools and elementary schools, rewards, rewards, rewards are such big motivators and it motivates effort. It motivates more of it. Um, we got to get back to the meat and potatoes of what a school is. It's for the, you know, training children for the real world. Mm -hmm. And so I want to be that support person. They say the teachers can't do everything. I'm here to help. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help. So display your... Your degrees, display them because it shows you accomplished something. It reminds not only you, but other people, oh, no, I'm credentialed up. I did this. I went. I was disciplined. I put in the effort. I did the routine because going to classes every day, that's a routine. I was organized enough to get my paperwork, my, my um, 20, 30 papers in. Um, I showed resilience because plenty of times, plenty of obstacles popped up and this and that. Um, I showed grit. I stuck with it. I got through it. I produced enough quality to get this degree. <laughs> um, and, and the degree was the reward. And then we celebrate. We always, we cannot leave out the end of year, school year celebrations. We cannot leave out the rewards, banquets, and rewards, um, assemblies, and things. Um, and then, what does that do? What does that make you want to do? Succeed more. Mm -hmm. You want to succeed more. You want to feel that again and again and again and again. So those are my five things.
Wonderful. <laughs> so we all definitely talk at the words. I know we're short for time, but yes, I want to. Um, yeah, yeah, well, I know the grand size. Uh, definitely, we're gonna definitely talk about that. Yes. I, mean, um, I see a partnership here. Um, it's about celebrating through success, and um, also what I did was um, at my job recently, I actually had more friends gave me gifts for the holidays. I haven't used them, so mm -hmm. I was in the basement. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna give it to the kids. Okay. So. They had a, a display board of all the kids who got names on doing well reading and math. So if my kid did well, um, they, they got an award for me. Good. So um, that was one I gave our awards because I wanted to award kids doing well. So it's yes. like four card conferences. I'm gonna find out who got honorable, and um, for my actual program, I'm, I'm actually going to give them gift cards. And remember, uh, doing well, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Doing well is not just grades. Right. Character. Character. Behavior. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Motivating positive behavior. Right. You saw something from somebody who doesn't usually display it, reward it. Yep. Yeah. Reward it. Post it. Point it out. Right. Make a big deal about it. Right. So they can do it again. Yep. <laughs> they don't want to do it again. All right. So, um... Can you talk about quickly talk about the um scholarship opportunity you talking about high school seniors? Yes, yes. I'm gonna be super, super quick. Google USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture. I have my older sister and a, and a cousin, I consider my sister, work for the um United States Department of Agriculture. And sh they told me years ago about a scholarship for black children high school seniors with a three point a cumulative 3.0 or higher gpa then they can qualify to enter to win this scholarship it's going on right now google usda hbcu scholarship i could give you the link i'll post the link on your site mm -hmm. and on your pages and everything yeah. mm -hmm. but google usda hbcu scholarship and it'll pop up it's for land grant hbcu colleges um they're trying to push but uh, department of agriculture will pay all four years full free scholarship room and board everything included every year that they pay you owe them a year after you graduate of work mm -hmm. so not only do you get free school you go right into your job a government job and you know they get raises every year <laughs> mm -hmm. it goes up every year automatic or i don't know if it's automatic or not but um Four years of work. You owe them four years. As soon as you get out, it's not you gotta live this work there for forever in, in servitude. Um, you owe them four years. You owe them one year per year they pay for. Mm. And so I wanna um they had 127, the highest number of students to ever win the award last year. The government has money, so I don't think there's a, a limit. I never heard there was a, a limit, but I want them to have like five hundred. Um, awardees. Okay, so if you know a friend, know a friend, know a friend, a, hi a high school student with a 3.0 GPA, a lot of your high, uh, high school students, seniors, don't have um, a solid, like, I want to be a doctor. I'm going here. I'm going. If they don't, USDA will take them. They can major in agriculture, food sciences, science. IT, mm -hmm. anything that the Department of Agriculture could use an employee for, you can major in. Wow. Okay? Yep. And get the scholarship. And I'll definitely spread the word to the schools I know in high school seniors that work with so they can spread their students immediately beginning Monday because it's so important that we get all the stuff and have our, our, our young people, you know, get scholarships for free. So, yeah. they, so the parents have to feel the worry of paying for this and not really seeing that if they child can make it to next semester or something like that. Right. To get tables out of your baby. Yeah, exactly. So um we're wrapping up, but where people can go to to find more information about scholarship and coaching and how a potential student can sign up. Alright, so <clears throat> you just go on our website and as long as you buy one of our products, it's only four. <laughs> But as long as you um, get one of our products, either fifty dollars a week coaching, fifteen dollars a month homework club per household, not per student, um, or we have a two ninety nine uh, ebook. It's a children's ebook, um, or 
I do graphic design for community organizations. Right now I'm doing a lot for churches, different churches, once a, a flyers or different things. Um, I, I want to give a huge shout out. She's here in Philly, Raffaella Brown. She's one of my mentors, you know, Raffaella. Yeah. <laughs> she's was my favorite, favorite boss at a nonprofit we both worked at years ago. Neither of us are, of us are there, but, um, and it, the nonprofit is actually amazing. Giving of Self Partnership is the nonprofit over um, near Germantown. Um, but Raffaella Brown is local and she's almost the support, the biggest, biggest support person for women, for women. So I did want to give her a shout out. But um, I was talking about the graphic design services. Um, any thing that you might need a flyer for something you can click that and there's i think it's 25 dollars a flyer okay yeah wow. and it's it's you know anything that we could shut out but at least one of the four services will get you in and you'll be a part of star student coaching wonderful okay mm -hmm. Alright, so I, I might purchase an ebook. So, <laughs> uh, so no I think you be part of it, you know yes. what I mean? So, two yes. questions, oh, two questions to wrap it, to wrap it up. So, mm -hmm. so starstudentcoaching.com. Star yes. Um, two questions. It's kind of just one, but what do you do for self care? And what would you tell the younger Sherelle? What do I do for self care? And what would I tell the younger Sherelle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for self care um i sleep i kind of <clears throat> force myself to sleep um back in the day i used to love like uh reading books going to the beach you know those things but ever since i had a i have a two and a half and a one and a half year old my biggest self-care if my mother-in-law takes the babies for the weekend or even for one night is sleep. Mm. That's like my top priority. Mm. And it feels so good if I could get like a good sleep in. Mm. So I can't push how important sleep is. Because <laughs> I'm out, you're out of whack. You don't feel so good. And then if you have anxiety on top of that, or it, it knocks you. So sleep. Mm. Sleep would be my number one. Mm. Yeah. And what would I tell the younger Sherelle? I would tell her... You could do it. You could do it. Because um, I feel like, I don't want to say I doubted myself, but I feel like, um, yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> my, my actions, I always was a worker. I always tried to create the world I want to live in. Right, right. Around me and for my sons. But um, moments... Maybe I have felt inferior and didn't go places where I should have went. Or, I don't know what the hesitation was, but you can do it. And I would tell myself, like, go. Go for it. And 2023 is my go for it year. So, we try to define every year. 2023 is my go for it year. And my team is motivating me. Levine, you always inspire motivating me. Wow. Raffaella, my mom, my dad, um, like I said, the people that come out of my church, a lot of people, even if they stopped through and kept going. Mm. And my dad used to always say, some um they came through. Mm. They got what they needed here. They were here. And we got it from a church in Pittsburgh. You belong here. Mm. So I walk around now everywhere like that. I thought it was because I'm from Philly. I feel like I can literally can go anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> I need to stay out of some places. But um, you could do it. And if I could have grasped that when I was young, Sherelle, I feel like I would have just went everywhere. Even more places. But we're going. It's our go for it year, so we're going. That's why I go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah go for it. So, Sherelle, and Kristen said you can do it. That's why. Yay, yeah, so so well, it's been an absolute pleasure. We connected with you. Um, uh, congratulations on your success. Thanks for having me, Lamar. I and Pat Graves will be supporters of Star Three Coaching. Uh, we will definitely spread the word to our teachers that I know, the schools that I work with, so they get so they can get more traction. Please. And uh, for those who are watching, thanks for joining us for the maybe the first time. Subscribe to our Facebook page here, Facebook page. 
Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Uh, we already had great, yeah, great content. We had great value. And also, one more thing for those who like no, uh, no men, we are doing man talk tomorrow. Uh, oh, okay. warrior, warrior anniversary tomorrow night on Zoom, 5 30, 7, 7 p.m. Spread the word, spread the word, spread the word. Uh, we need men on there to join us and to find out what we are about because we are taking it to the level of this year. And I need you. I need you, those who have wisdom, who have guidance, who have influence, um, who are maybe in a path of, of changing, of, of modifying yourself to become better. Join us tomorrow night, 5 30 p.m. to 7 p.m. And lastly, Romans every Saturday. Oh. That's for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Romans every Saturday, 12 and 11 30 a.m. We have great guests coming up among the February. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy the Saturday. Stay warm. Stay warm. You know I go outside today. It's extremely cold. Stay warm. And go Eagles. Fly Eagles. Fly. Eagles! Yeah. Eagles! Close out the show. <laughs>